Welcome, Lures. Welcome, everybody, to Lure Painting Live with Colorado Custom Lures. I'm your host, Krista, and I am the painter behind Colorado Custom Lures. Um, if you're joining us tonight, we are streaming live on Facebook as well as YouTube. So if you are not familiar with our Facebook uh, page, it is just Colorado Custom Lures, and find us on YouTube at Colorado Custom Lures as well as Instagram too. So welcome if you're uh, watching for the first time. Um, I have a weekly show where I do a couple of designs, one or two designs live, answer questions, and um, yeah, just talk about what I do, how I do it, and um, take you through all the steps. So tonight we're going to be doing... Um, a couple different patterns. I'm going to do uh, just a shad slash perch pattern in a yellow color. And then we're going to also do some chrome shad colors. So uh, welcome everybody to the show. I'm going to pull up the comments here and I will paste the, the website in the comments on the Facebook feed um, in the YouTube feed if you uh, want to find us online to purchase any of the lures that we sell they are available uh, in the description i have posted a link to the website and you can also just find us uh, by typing in coloradocustomlures.com on your browser as well so thanks everybody for joining us tonight who do we have on tonight let me pin the website here real quick so that it's at the bottom of the comments. Ah, welcome, Paraguay, Anibal, Joseph, Ray. Hello, guys. Arthur, welcome. Hi, Scott. And uh, yeah, feel free to say hello, ask questions. And I'll do my best to get to everybody's questions. If I do miss your question, or if you happen to be watching the replay, feel free to either PM me, uh, email me at coloradolures at gmail.com um, or um, yeah, one of those two things. And then I will get back to you as soon as I'm able to. So, all right, first things first, I'm just taping off the bills on these 1.5 square bills. And then I have a few of my chrome plated 2.5 square bills that we're gonna paint in a shad pattern tonight too. I need to get back to doing some of those. Um, I don't know why my Facebook feed video always cuts me off. It doesn't like me watching me, I guess. So, all right. Uh, one more little snippet here. And I got to refollow this. My apologies. It likes to cut me off so I can't see how it looks from your perspective to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Hey, Kevin, Rodney, Ryan, share the feed, please, everybody. Share with your friends on Facebook, in your Facebook groups, your local groups, the fishing groups, with your friends, wherever you think people might be interested. So there are some blade baits up on the website, and I'm working on a ton more right now. So uh, please keep your eyes peeled for those. There'll be a variety of different ones in half and quarter ounce. Um, if there's anything that you want to see made in a blade bait that you can't get your hands on, they're kind of a hot item right now. A lot of people are using them in cold water fishing. There's a lot of YouTubers out there with technique videos on how to finesse fish blade baits in cold water. Um, I'll try and post some links if I get a chance to some good instructional videos on how to fish them. Um, but we have lots of really cool colors coming out and the action is excellent. Uh, Chris has fished them several times we went out today uh did some fishing and they perform very well so hopefully you guys like them and give them a try all right who else do we have on tonight we've got shang and jeffrey robert christian hello ross william i do use a clear coat if i didn't then we wouldn't have much left at the end of the day i use uh, alumi uv for all of my crankbaits and then on my Blade baits and spoons, anything metal, ice jigs. I use um, Tamco High Impact. It's, it's a, an automotive clear. 
So, uh, all right, we'll get started. I've got, I'm using my Awada Eclipse tonight. I use both Badger and Awada airbrushes, if you're curious. Um, the Badger Eclipse is, uh, HPCS is a good choice. And then I use the um, Patriot, the Extreme Patriot and the regular Patriot by Badger. And I also have a Badger Chrome for extra fine detail. I am frequently asked that question, so I'll get that out of the way right now. So how is everybody doing? Are you staying warm? We got some warm weather here, but it was windy. Uh, Woody, Terry, Keith, Aaron, Christopher, and Dallas, or Scott. Mark, what's up? All right, so this is Steinal Res by Badger. This is what I use um, to uh, prime my lures. The reason why is this is... Um, a very it has very good adhesion to plastic better than just your acrylic paints as i get let me get some uh some gloves here you guys i've got gloves on um anyway it is an acrylic polyurethane it adheres to your baits better than just regular acrylic paint so then you have uh less problems with like um peeling of your clear coat if your clear coat is compromised by some you know hitting a rock or whatever might happen. Um, they are water-based paints, so you need some kind of a uh, good primer to adhere to your bait underneath. Um, the hopes is that the clear coat holds up, but as we all know, there's only so many rocks you can hit before you're gonna have some sort of a compromise in the clear coat. So it just assists with uh, keeping the paint on the bait or coat from peeling. So that's what I use, and I put one coat of um, Steinal Res. I'll try to include links to these products where you can purchase them on the YouTube feed in the description. I'll try and go back and add that if I can. I'm new to YouTube um, on the live show. My channel is my first live presentation on YouTube. I decided to start streaming on both at the same time. So we're just testing it out tonight to see how it works. Um, and hopefully it'll be available to watch on my channel for the foreseeable future. Uh, I'm sure it will ebb and flow a little bit as I go, but um, just expanding the reach a little bit. All right, so again, I'm just putting a coat of Steinal Reds on. These are smooth 1.5. They have a smooth finish on them. They paint up really nice. They're rattling, good quality. And then I also use a more traditional Lucky Craft style of crankbait. I have these in rattling and silent, but these are rattling that I'm painting up right now. These are 3 8 ounce. Um, they're, they've got some weight to them, so they cast nice. Uh, they have a, a nice rattle to them, and they have a nice sturdy bill, thick plastic, um, very good quality. All right, so I have a coat of Steinal Reds on there, so I'm just gonna spray this into my duck cup back here. And then what I do to clean out my brush in between my colors, because I don't have a sink out here, is I have a water bottle that I spray in here and then I flush it through, dump. I take a paper towel, just wipe it out on the inside and then give it another flush. If you have a dark color in there that you're following up with the white or you know a lighter color and you're afraid that it's gonna get stained from the color that was in there before, if there's some paint dried on there and you're having trouble getting it off, you can always use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, 91% is what I use. You could probably use 70% and that would work too. Uh, but you can just get this anywhere, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever, you know, wherever they sell band-aids and such you'll find it and that cleans off acrylic paint really well okay so first thing we're going to do is put some yellow in the gun and i'm going to do a pattern um it's like a shad pattern but i'm going to do a perch also because it's a versatile color pattern or color scheme i should say that you could really do various things with so this i'm putting in here is 40 uh it's createx 4013 their um reducer they also have a 4011, which is a better for high temperatures. Say you're in a hot, hot garage or outside at like a festival painting t-shirts in the summer. 
then the high temp would be uh, more necessary. But you can use the high temp anytime as well. Um, but that's what I use to thin my paint. Um, some of the Wicked colors, if they're not the detail colors, are kind of thick. So you need to add a little bit of reducer. And I also think that reducer helps the flow. You know what I forgot? I forgot white. We forgot to put our white base coat on because I'm talking too much. All right. So I'm going to grab, I'm just going to grab another gun. I have a second hose and I'm going to put a white coat on here real quick since I was blabbing and forgot. So did I miss any questions at all? You are not too late. We just started. Yeah, I put some new cardboard on my bench. I just throw some like cardboard I get from packages I have shipped. I just throw it on the bench to cover it up so that it's not totally covered in paint all the time. It's pretty messed up underneath there too already, but um, then I can just throw it away when it gets really grubby and put a new new piece of cardboard on it. Everybody always notices when I change my cardboards. <laughs> Hello, Richard. Uh, Tennessee Shad, I can do Tennessee Shad. Um, there's several different versions of Tennessee Shad, but if you PM me and tell me what color you're looking for, I can definitely do that. I do take custom orders. Um, at some point in the spring, I will probably impose a minimum quantity because I'll get too busy to be doing one of this and one of that. So if you want something for spring, now would be the time to order it before I get too busy. Because once spring comes, I'm going to be slammed. And I'm not going to necessarily have time for um, unlimited custom orders. I'm busy all the time, but I don't like to let my lead time go because of like eight weeks in the um, spring. Because obviously, if you're fishing, you want your stuff, you know fairly quickly so order now <laughs> if you know what you want okay um hello richard and steven happy birthday to you steven i hope you've had a good day so far all right so those are white um i just put a coat of this is wicked white that is the white i like I feel that it's bright, and um, I feel that it's a smooth spraying white, whoops, white color. I don't usually sit down when I can. I'm usually standing because I move around a lot easier, but um, it works better to sit while I'm doing my show, so bumping into things. Anyway. All right. I got that all flushed out. I need a longer cord for my second um, air hose. Hello, Ron. Mine 33 windshield, Steven. Uh, see, I'm from Iowa, and I don't miss that at all. Okay, I'm going to go across the top, half of this, with um, Wicked Detail Yellow. Now, I'm going to end up back blending this, so if it happens to overspray down the bait, it doesn't really matter. And I'll tell you what back blending is shortly here too, once I get uh, most of this painted. So I'm just gonna do uh, one of these. I'm not gonna do all four of these. I'm just gonna do a smooth and I'm gonna do a regular. I always have a backup primed in case I really screw it bad. Then I can switch to a, my second one. It doesn't happen often, but once in a while. Okay, so I'm going to dump this out. We'll come back to that yellow here in a minute, but I'm going to do some scales now and a green color. Please share the feed. Yes, everyone. Sea Rapids is cold. Is that where you are, Eddie? I'm from Dubuque originally. But I, um, I was in outside sales for a long time in Iowa before I moved to Colorado. And um, I was in Cedar Rapids all the time at the doctor's offices and hospitals. And I have lots of friends in Rapids from college because I went to Iowa and I, a lot of people from Cedar Rapids. And obviously, Iowa City is very close. So, um, hello, Brian. Oh, you're on an island. I don't know where that island is, but I want to come. That sounds fantastic right now. You got your order? 
can hear me better on YouTube, I'll tell you why that is. And that's actually really good feedback. Thank you for the information. Um, I'm using a new webcam I bought that's specifically meant for um, live blogging and stuff like that. And uh, so that this is my first time using it and I used it on the YouTube channel. So that's, that's good to know that it works better. I suspected it would work better than my phone, but um, it's good to hear that it's actually the case. So I'm mixing um, Createx Transparent Leaf Green and Wicked Detail Moss Green. Um, they're both acrylic. You can mix you know, any acrylic paints with each other. Um, if they're the same brand, it probably works better because they, they, they are formulated different if it's a different brand. Wicked and Createx are the same brand. So it's just a different line of paints within the Createx brand. Hello, Erin, Dale, ever try KBS? I have not, but I have lots of friends that use KBS and it's a great product. Um, the biggest, all clear coats have a lot of problems. They all have their quirks and difficulties. Um, KBS, the problem with it is, oh crap, that is not dry. See, this is what I'm talking about. It wasn't dry. So back we go to the other one I was working on. I should have waited. Um, KBS will set up in the jar if you let it sit or don't peel it properly. It cures with humidity. So if you leave it sit and you don't have like 500 layers of plastic wrap, like sealing the jar underneath the cap, um, it'll start to set up in the jar and then it's ruined. So sometimes you have to add, you have to like torch it or add this Bloxygen product. I don't really know too much about it because I've never used KBS. Um, and it takes longer to set up. It takes days for it to fully cure. Um, and so I haven't never used it. I went straight to Lumi UV because it's ultraviolet light cured. So I can actually dip mine in a Lumi UV or, pa or paint it on depending on the lure. And then I can hang it in my light box and within 30 minutes it's ready to fish. So very shiny, very hard. Um, and I just, I love it. It's probably, in my opinion, the best clear coat out there, but there's some automotive clears that are really good too, but um, they're also very toxic. So um, every clear coat has its ups and downs, but overall to answer your question, KBS is a very good clear coat. They also have a matte version, which isn't available in Illuminati. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm putting a scale pattern on. So I take this, which is just uh, a cross stitch loom that you would put like a cross stitch pattern in. And I put a piece of mesh fabric in here. So then I just take my lure and I press it up against, press it up against this mesh fabric. And then I'll just spray my green over top of the yellow. And I'm just doing it on the high side until I get the color I want. Now with the water-based paint, you have to be careful not to overdo it because it can start to run and then it'll ruin your scale pattern because it'll start to run underneath um, the material. So just a little bit of paint at a time with a little quick dry in between coats until you get the darkness that you want. Thank you, Stu. Uh, waiting for the mail. Yeah, I haven't checked mine yet either. Um, I was supposed to get some swim bait today. Some swim bait blanks, those shad ones, these ones right here, I got like a ton of these coming. These are the best. They swim amazing and they actually sink and I have a bunch of those coming. So be ready for, and those are a swim bait anybody can fish. They only weigh like an ounce and um, they're really easy to fish. Keith, you got your stuff awesome. Hey, Dave. You did have a good birthday. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, so here's the scale pattern, and that's how it turns out. Okay, I'm going to do the other side now real quick. And then we'll back, back blend that with some white to... Um, sort of get the line a little bit more defined across the middle. And I'll show you how I do that. Great, Peter, thank you. I'm so glad you like them. You guys, I do that kudo buzz thing and everybody gets emails to review my lures. And I got so many wonderful reviews. But honestly, here's the thing. 
they won't all post because they have a limit how many they'll post before they make you start paying more money. You know, that's how it works. So they want me to pay like 30 bucks a month to continue posting more reviews. I'm just not there yet. But you can keep bringing them on because if I do decide to pay for the review service, then um, they'll then they'll show up. So there's my scales on each side. And I'm going to fix this one that I screwed up. Or I'm going to try to. So that I can do a smooth one and one that's textured so you can see what the difference is. The smooth finish on this, the smooth square bill really looks nice uh, when it's got some scales on it, in my opinion. Uh, what paint I use? Okay, so I primarily use lacquer taxidermy paint and House of Color lacquer paints, which are automotive. Um, but when I'm live, I'm not going to spray lacquer paints without a mask on. So I go back to the water-based paints I started with, which are Createx, primarily Wicked and Createx, which are owned by the same company. Um, but I also use some other brands too. Um, like Com Art makes good paint. Uh, testers at that looks like crap. You can see the fingerprint. So I'm gonna have to take the paint off that and start over. I'll just use my backup. Um, golden paints are good. They're expensive. Um, testers Aztec is a good water-based paint. I like their metallic a lot. That's a must-have. Their metallic line, testers Aztec. Um, but yeah, I switched over to lacquer this past year because it just looks better. It dries faster. Um, there's lots of reasons why you don't have, I mean, it just dries faster. I don't have to use a hair dryer and it looks smooth and smoother and sharper in my opinion. Um, it's easier to stencil, but it's toxic, so I had to beef up my ventilation and stuff. And I'm actually in the process of doing that again. So, well, I should say Chris is in the process of doing that again. He's smiling over here. I buy this stuff and then he puts it in. I could probably do it if I wanted to, but I don't have time. And he's just better at that stuff than me, so. Thank you for the shares, everybody. Please share if you can. Uh, Brad, I'm just using my phone on the Facebook feed, if you're asking from the Facebook feed. But if you're watching me on YouTube, that's streaming from a Logitech, um, I think it's a 920 camera, webcam. Hi to Gary. Say hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Sorry, Chris is uh, Chris is reading the comments on YouTube for me because I can't manage both at the same time. Uh, so he's reading the comments and answering them on YouTube for me. That is my husband, Chris. He does a lot of the other base besides the hard base. I'm the painter. He he pours plastics in lead, makes all that kind of stuff. All right, so I slipped this a little bit, so I'm trying to adjust it. You really want to try not to move your um, mesh, if at all possible, once you get it on there, because it, it's very hard to get it back in the right place. Okay, so I'm just, just kind of drying this as I go here. Uh, an avalanche fan, you know, what's funny is that was one of our first dates, right? Mm -hmm. So I worked at a restaurant when I first moved to Colorado. I I took a break from the corporate world and um, for like a year and I worked in a restaurant just because I wanted to like figure out what I wanted to do. I was tired of being in sales, corporate, the corporate world. And uh, we met on MASH.com and then I got tickets from the DJ at this bar restaurant I worked at and it was Avalanche tickets. He got them from somebody that he knew. 
and he gave he would give them to us sometimes at the restaurant when he was working there so chris and i went to an avalanche game it was like our second date i think anyway so i don't we don't really live that close to denver anymore so, um so it's pretty far for us to drive sorry my button on this is kind of sticky much better on youtube yeah it's the camera probably yes Absolutely. Yes, we do. We have uh, two kids, five and seven. Five and seven. Busy, busy. All right. So you like the Facebook feed better than the YouTube voices better on YouTube, but the video is better on Facebook. Interesting. It should be better on YouTube because the camera is brand new. I'll have to watch it when I get uh, off of here and see what it looks like. Daniel's saying better pick and you get to see more on YouTube. Better picture for you on YouTube? Maybe it, maybe it depends where you're watching so from. personal opinion for Christopher is the audio is better on Facebook. Isn't, didn't somebody else just say the opposite? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it, it just depends. It must depend on where you're watching from because Arthur just said audio is better on YouTube. So, I don't know. Weird. Interesting. I don't know. But, yeah, keep the feedback coming. I'm interested to hear uh, what everybody has to say. I'll probably keep doing it this way. I don't see any reason not to get, like, two, you know, two for one. It's almost like it's pale, paler on YouTube. You know, you can sh adjust this light. Here, look. Adjust this light and see what it does. All right, did I miss anybody else's questions? Oh, you couldn't see the bait, it was too high. Okay, I'll try and move it around, guys, next time. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep going here now. All right, so I'm gonna back blend on this. So I'm gonna put white back in my gun. I have a ring light. It's um, just an extra light for live streaming that I bought to go with camera. And it has some different settings. So we're just playing around now. Okay, so I'm going to black back blend this about halfway up so that you can see. So it's like, you know, nice and even. And this is just whitey. Nieces and nephews are good. You don't have to, you get to send them back to their mom and dad. So Christopher is saying, and the minus the white noise and i was just on facebook facebook was picking up white noise <clears throat> i'm confused wide symmetry viewer painting while wow, you're filming in landscape mode thumbs up um so there's a couple reasons i don't film in landscape mode on on facebook uh one of them is because you can't see me painting and my face at the same time if I get closer, um, I don't know. I mean, it's just going to be different with the webcam because it's a totally different device. But Kini Bass, the video is better on YouTube. You can see more. She does this. She does a, um, a YouTube channel, I think. Erin saying you can see way better on YouTube. Yeah. she. Darla said you can see a lot more on YouTube. It's YouTube probably that I think that the camera has a like a wider angle. Watching both, like it's an instant replay. So I'm just back blending this as I go here, and I just literally have my phone right below the webcam. So um, I'll try I'll try and move the bait up and down just to make sure that you can see um, from both whatever you're watching from whatever. Um, service you're watching. YouTube is picking up white noise. I don't know what that means. Chris, what do you mean white noise? Yeah, I don't really know what you mean by white noise, I guess. Are you talking about my, my compressor? Does my compressor sound bad? Or heater? Or the heater? The heater the heater switches off and on in here. We had a new heater installed out here.
There might be like some filters that I, there might be some settings I can change to try and filter out back, background noise, but I don't, I don't know really. Unfortunately with airbrushing in the garage with a heater, with like an electric heater on, it's gonna, there's gonna be background noise no matter what I do. Um, pixelating and buffering a lot on YouTube. That may have something to do with the internet connection uh, yours or mine. Uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Okay. So we're spending too much time talking about the video. All right. Yellow. So I'm going to go back to yellow and we're going to do the bottom and yellow. So this is wicked detail yellow again. Arthur's on face or uh, YouTube. Okay. Share the feed you guys, if you can, I appreciate the shares. Share, share. I like to start doing more YouTube videos, both uh, technique and and you know painting content videos in the future. Um, so I'm trying to build a, a little bit better following there. I don't, you know, I don't intend to make a million dollars off of it, but so I feel you, like I've been doing the same thing forever. Your so. YouTube is going up, and your Facebook is going down as in views. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably going to happen. Well, I'm saying they're probably jumping over there. Yeah. To see what it looks like over there. Oh, the leeches. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be getting more of those leech um, neds. They're like a net or a finesse bait in um, eventually here. It's just a matter of having the time to get everything back in stock. So just hang tight. Before spring, I'll have some more of those. If you have any color suggestions, just PM me, Bobby, and I'll see what I can do. I made up a, we had a custom batch made up for somebody, but um, I do plan on just restocking those in general. Um, it's just getting it all done. On your phone. Blue Dog on YouTube says, glad to see you back on YouTube. I'm not a Facebook fan. Oh, understandable. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's a lot of reasons to be on YouTube versus Facebook at this point. Um, a lot of people, I guess, are frustrated with, YouTube, for, with Facebook right now. Which Gary I says, didn't even think the, of that. Uh, sound and video quality is pretty good here. Wish I could see more of what you were doing, but I'm watching on my phone. Yeah, I, you know, it's a fine line between getting up close to where you can see me painting and actually being able to see me. So I get a lot of feedback, like, I wish I could see more of what you're painting, but then people won't be able to see me. Um, so it's just a hard... I did start sitting down and bringing the camera a little bit closer so people could see more of what I'm doing. Um, I just haven't found that perfect view yet, so. I think the video quality on YouTube is way better. Well, I don't think it's I don't think it's YouTube. I think it's the camera. I I have a special. <laughs> I mean, I bought a brand new camera that's designed for video blogging. So you probably be able to see my wrinkles better now. My gray hair that I haven't colored in like. <laughs> Chris says so or no so there is natural noise frequency in a space it's like you will get a digital feedback of sound and a, a white noise sound counseling generator okay I'll check I'll check a feedback a pop filter or a Can you write that down so I don't forget? Sorry. Okay. So now we have our yellow with this skate. Too long. So now we're going to do some candy orange on top of the yellow on the bottom. So I have grabber orange, <clears throat> candy 2O grabber orange. This is um, Cretex also. Now you want to mix this with 4030, which is the balancing clear by Createx. <clears throat> you just need like. Um, a few drops of balancing clear to like, I don't know, a few, it's supposed to be, there's supposed to be some sort of like 
an actual ratio that I ignore and just do my own thing. Blind symmetry lure <clears throat> painting is saying it's the Wi-Fi signal. I'm showing five bars right here, but I, I mean that we got one, two, three, four. There's nothing I can do five. about my Wi-Fi signal. We got so much stuff running right now. Um, my wife, are, unfortunately, like that's one of our limitations is because we're out in the country kind of. And so we have satellite Internet and it's pretty good, honestly, like for satellite Internet. It's better than you would expect it to be. Why is this clogged? Um, this isn't spraying as well as I would think it should be. I'm going to put some reducer in it. Um, <clears throat> so we have some some limitations on um our internet speed and we're at the max so hopefully it's not too bad daniel wood saying you can hear the gun spray and it sounds like water running okay yeah i'll get i'll get some kind of a filter is that on youtube you're hearing that yep okay then i'll i'll go ahead and look at getting some kind of a filter and we'll see if that we can fix that but thank you for the thanks feedback. guys for the feedback okay so i'm going to spray this grabber orange over the the bottom yellow part, and I'm just going to turn it into kind of like a yellowish door, okay? Now, I'm using the candy because I don't want to cover the yellow. I just want to, like, enhance it, you know? Like, make it look like it's layered, not necessarily like a solid color. I don't even know how to say it. It just looks different when you layer your colors than it does if you just mix them. Um, so that's what that orange looks like once you spray the candy on top. So it's a nice, um, it's just a nice color. I like it. So I'm going to do this other one with that same color. I might not get to my chrome over tonight at this rate. Anthony Clark says, okay, I jumped over to YouTube. Everybody's all curious now what the difference is. Like I could have done this a while ago because... Um, I have over a thousand subscribers on YouTube now. It took me a while to get there. Um, but now that I have a thousand, I could do two mobile devices. I would have just had to use um, my lack, my iPad or Chris's phone to do the second feed. But I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't do it, I guess, because I'm busy and I just didn't find the time, but um, I decided to go ahead and get a, a new camera because I, don't know, I should have one. I just need to do something different, you know? And um, I've been doing this for a long time now and it just needs some, I need to do some different stuff. So I figured it was time to get a decent camera. And so I'm just doing both now, I guess. I know some people don't <clears throat> like YouTube and some people don't like Facebook. So solves that problem. This is blood red, candy blood red. I'm going to do one of these with blood red on the bottom. And then I'm going to do another one with bright red. The, the blood red is a candy color. I'm going to put the 4030 in first so that the, the blood red paint doesn't pull to the bottom. Blind symmetry saying one to one ratio for 4030, then a top coat of 4040 bleed checker. Oh yeah. I don't do that. I know it's not the right way, but I don't do that. I just go straight like half and half, and I don't do a bleed checker. I never have. You can put a you can put a coat of 4004 transparent base on top as well if you're worried about bleeding. I don't usually have problems with bleeding, um, but I don't I don't know. Like I just don't have problems with that for some reason. Sean uh, is saying, love how you explain what you're doing. I start airbrush painting lures and love learning new techniques and ways to paint. Absolutely. I uh, I do my show every week. I've been doing it a long time. And if I can help you, I will. Um, the main thing is you just got to paint a lot. You know, that's, there's no substitute for experience. Gary says he's switching to my TV, so there's I will your not bed be on able the bottom. to communicate. It was a pleasure meeting you all, and I'm sure we'll chat again. All right, Gary, have Thanks, a good night. Gary. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the shares, too, everybody. So this is the, the candy red kind of blended in with the candy orange. And it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do, I was, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm not gonna do bright red on the other one. I like how the blood red turned out. So I'm just gonna stick with it. So I'm, you really have to miss this lightly. The thing with the candy paints is that if you spray them too thick, they'll pull. 
which just means like they'll beat up, you know, and um, you can't fix that really. Once you do it, it's, it's pretty much going to look like that. And that you can actually do some kind of cool techniques using that to your advantage. But um, I'm not going to go over that right now, and I'm not really good at that either. So um, the moral of the story is don't put on too much or any color at one time, or you're going to have it's not going to blend well. You're going to have problems. Arthur on YouTube says, I think you will get a lot more viewers on YouTube. Yeah. That was pretty much what my motivation was. Um, and I needed to do this for a very long time. Like I said, I'm just so busy. I don't ever get around to Scott it. Scott Gordon on Facebook saying on YouTube, not showing your name. Not showing my name? Aren't you on my... You should be on my channel. To watch it so I probably need to do a banner underneath or something I haven't figured out how to do that yet but I'll fig I mean, Wood. figure it out. she makes sound and make and look so easy is really good but it's not <laughs> it gets easier the more you do it I promise you guys uh, let's see I do paint strike king blanks I have them hanging on my wall behind me I usually keep like six, three, five, and six XDs in stock, and two point fives and one point fives, the KVDs. If you need something painted, you can let me know. I do paint some for the store sometimes, but I don't paint a lot of those for the store. I usually <clears throat> save most of them for people who want a straight king painted, so I have them on hand. Steve um, from Facebook says I use a different name for my other fishing social media accounts. I have besides Facebook. Yeah. Um, Sometimes that gets hard. It gets hard to figure out who you're talking to when people do that. I have some people who will send me um, messages on Instagram, and I can't remember who I'm talking to because their name is different. It'll be like so-and-so outdoors, and I'm like, I have no idea who I'm talking to. So this is Lure So Far. I'm going to do dark brown on the top. Okay, this is, this is sepia. For whatever reason, this stupid bottle of sepia must have... It's just not, the paint is not good. It has some kind of like dry chunks in it or something, and it clogs my damn brush. And like the last two bottles of Sepia I got did that, and I know that they'll take it back. I just haven't gotten around doing it. I've had that problem with black before, too. Who else? Anybody else that I um, missed? Thanks, Scott. Justin, how's it going? Are you catching any fish right now, Chris? Chris Watts asked. No. Yes, you have been. Not in the last two weekends. It depends on the day. He, he's he been having luck with the blade baits. I've been doing blade baits. I'll show you guys some of them. Okay, so here's a color I did for, for Chris, actually. So these will be available soon. So we did this one. And then um, let me show you what else I got here. This is going to be my blue shad it's kind of like a gizzard shad and then i'm doing something craw like in like a red and neon red i haven't figured that one out yet i have a purple chartreuse coming so this will be coming to the store in the next few days here and then i'm doing this color also on a blade Right there. It depends on if you're looking on Facebook or on uh, YouTube, whether you can see it. So uh, those are the colors I'm working on right now, and then I'll do another batch after I'm done with that. So if you guys haven't fish blades, uh, ice, you can ice fish them too, right? I mean, yep, walleye or bass or We have a quarter and half ounce right now. So there is – so we're going to make one of these a perch, and we're going to make one of them a shad. All right, let's do the top on this one. All right, so you have to do a few layers of the brown to get it to um, to be dark enough or whatever. So i to dry it a little bit in between. Uh, let's see here. Skynet is coming. Oh, is that the satellite? Is that Tesla? Is that the Tesla thing? 
No. Skynet. Yeah, is That's that Terminator shit? No, it's like inter... it's an internet or what is it? Tell us what Skynet is again. I don't know why, but I don't follow that one. Um. Uh. I thought it was like the satellite. Both find Facebook's Facebook looks looks more true to color, and the YouTube is a little louder. Yeah, the the camera. Um, the micro, it has a built-in microphone that's like meant for video blogging, so it probably does sound better. But it sounds like there's some interference, so I might have to get some kind of a sound filter. Uh, so now we got the dark brown on this one. So I'm just kind of trying. Daniel Wood, you. those sexy shedlers I got from the live sale looked amazing, top notch. The blue? Uh, are you talking about the electric blue shad ones with the silver and blue top? Thank you, though. Anthony Clark is saying, how are you doing on my new lures? I think everyone will like the red and gold splatter back. I haven't gotten to them yet. Sorry. Um, I finished up. I try to go in order, and I just finished a whole bunch of people's orders. Um, Scott, yours is done. I'm waiting on one thing, and I can explain that to you later. Um, it's really sitting waiting to sh like for one thing and then uh, Jeff Mahoney your stuff is done um, I don't know if, if Kylie is watching but she knows her stuff is done Brad's stuff is done um, there's just a yeah I haven't gotten quite that far yet <clears throat> so Scott normally I have a banner in the background but you can't see it in the YouTube video because of the way that it's pointed so I'm going to work on that I have thought about that and it will be coming. So I'd like to get something more that covers like right behind me so that you can't see all this garbage I have back here. Just picked up the candy blood red. It's a good color. I wish they had an apple red, honestly, in um, the candy 2.0 because the blood red is kind of dark. It's like a deep red and I wish they had a bright red. Um, I use lacquer though. So I just usually use house of color. Candy apple red, what I'm doing, um, when I'm normally when I'm painting, but I have to substitute out water based colors when I'm doing my show and get as close as I can. So um, I'm just do, gonna do a dot here, um, like just up on, I do usually just go right up on the scale part, just behind the gill plate a little bit. Um, and then I have a bunch of different sizes. I just cut these different circle sizes. I found this picture online of these different colored or sized dots or whatever. And I use my Silhouette Cameo, which is like a cricket. It's like a cricket machine, you know? Ross is asking, when are you planning on um, having another live sale on oh, Facebook? When I have enough stuff to sell, um, I'm, you know, I have to get more inventory in before... I got to get stuff painted before I can do that. Um, so I'm not sure yet, honestly. Um, Ron from Sophie Bates says hello from Chile. So those are, this one is pretty much done except for the eyeball. So I hope you guys like this color. I like this color. And then I'm going to do uh, a perch stripe on this one. Um, let's see here. How am I going to do this? I'm thinking. Let's try and do like a shadow outline and see how it looks. By that, I mean, I'm gonna like trace around the edges of the stencil so that the middle is a little bit um, lighter than the edges. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna turn down my air. I have an adjustment on my quick disconnect here where I can turn the air down or up. So I'm just going to turn it down. That way I don't have to change the air pressure on my compressor, which is behind me. Um, let's see here. I use I use mostly a 0.3 needle, but I also use a 0.5 and a 0.2. Um, let's see here. Yes, Tesla's low orbit satellite internet. Right. I okay. I was right. I knew I I knew it was a Tesla thing. I thought anyway. Um, hello, Juan in Chile. Painting old lures, you got an estate sale. Waylon, oh, you know what that reminds me of? Uh, Chris's grandpa, who recently passed, uh, like a week ago, um, sadly. 
um, sent me all kinds of pose and stuff that he got at a yard sale. And I painted a bunch of them for him and sent them back. And I still have quite a few of them, actually. Um, sitting in a cabinet. Waiting to be restored. That's a lot of work. Restoring the vintage ones. That's a lot of work. Okay, yes, please share. Turn the camera to the left of it. I can't see what you're doing. It is really hard to see everything I'm doing. I'm sorry. What compressor do I like? I've only ever had one, and I have a Pache Pro Series. Um, everyone that I talk to says the Calif the way to go. How's it going, Charles? Thank you. Make sure you guys like and share, please. Yep, like the page, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and um, share the feed. So there is the stripes. Those look pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. I kind of dig that, actually. I might have to do this as a purge. So let me finish the other side here. I'm just tracing around the outside edges of each of these um, stripes to get See how that's darker on the outside edge of the stripes versus um, the inside? That's just what, I, what I'm doing there. So you just have to go slow and make sure you don't just hose it down, you know? You can just make them solid and just literally go and be done with it. This just gives it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just tracing around the outside edge of the stencil. On the, or the inside edge, I should say, not the outside edge. It's really hard for me to show you what I'm doing all the time. I can't, I don't have multiple angles. Um, I don't have that capability with my camera. I just, I don't have that kind of money to buy that camera, multiple cameras, unfortunately. So I'm doing, I do the best I can to try and show you what I'm doing. Um, like, honestly, You'll have to practice all this stuff to be able to do it yourself. Anyhow, um, so there's the perch. So I'm super digging that. Those are going to make it to the store, I think. So I said I was going to do some chrome. So And those will get some red eyeballs. And I didn't dig out the eyeballs, but that's what color I decided on for that design. So I'm just cleaning the black out here. This is one one situation where I might need to use alcohol for that. Like, what did I do? Line All right. Symmetry says, yes, California Air Tool compressors are sweet, the ultra-quiet models. Yeah, I've heard that they're really quiet, too. Mine is super loud, and I would probably get a different one, but I don't really want to spend more money that I don't have to spend, so mine works really well it's definitely Chris adequate on facebook says that looks great scott gordon says like the bait thank you guys all right share the feed everybody if you can i appreciate the shares on facebook if you're watching on facebook all right so i just put some alcohol in here because uh, i had black in there and i don't want black to be in there well actually i'm going to put black right back in there like a moron so that was kind of stupid all right so Arthur says, I think I'm going to buy one of those. What? Oh, one of the square bills? I'll probably do a big batch of those if everybody likes the color. If you don't, then just tell me. Like, I would never finish that, and I'll reconsider how many I'm going to do. So these are my uh, chrome square bills. So I'm going to do a shad. How could I practice painting if I'm in a hotel room? You cannot. <laughs> you can't. You can't even open the windows. That would not be a good idea. So when you're painting on chrome, um, I didn't do this, but I recommend putting a coat of transparent base on first because it helps your paint lay down nicer. Um, I kind of forgot. So uh, you just have to do your coat real thin so it doesn't beat up.
right, and then dry a little bit in between. I can do a ghost perch, sure. remember if I've ever done a ghost perch. Yeah, I have actually. I did a bunch of jerk bait in a ghost, uh, like a green yellow perch a while ago, but it was like a year ago. I think I had those. Um, I'm good. How are you, Richard? Working hard. So I'm just putting black against the top of these because I'm gonna, and then I'm going to come across and do a scale. Uh, I'm going to do a pearl blue scale on top and then we're going to do some gold across the center and then a little bit of copper around the cheek area and I might try some texture on one of them just to see what it looks like and if it sucks then I will reproduce it. I'm getting these in 1.5s by the way you guys. I've been waiting for a long time for them and the chromer is taking forever to get back to me, get them back or get them done. So I'm still waiting on them, but I'll have 1.5s and 2.5s soon. And then I have, uh, there's only so many lures that come in Chrome. Um, I special order my square bills, but um, a couple of the suppliers sell Chrome lures, but not square bills. So Daniel I, Wood saying, I just put you on a 65 inch TV. Makes you feel like I'm standing right beside you and I can see everything. Yeah, I think Rusty and Candy Hammond watch me on a big screen TV every week, too. That makes me self-conscious, and I'm not even there. <laughs> One's asking, are you using water-soluble or acrylic paint? Uh, well, by definition, those are the same thing, but I'm using acrylic paint. I normally paint with lacquer solvent, but not not when I'm live because it's too toxic to paint without a mask on. Oh, you saw a small jerk paint and ghost perch. If you PM me, Christopher, I'll send you a picture of the one that I did. I have a, I had a small jerk paint. Crap on the feet. Okay, so this paint sprays like crap but I love the color and I don't know why but everybody I've ever talked to who has this color says that it sprays like crap too I think the flake is just really big for some reason it's pearl blue um, and I've tried the wicked version and it's the same so uh, we are making some crankbaits right now I'm doing a chrome shad and I just did a perch and a shad in uh, this color we just finished this one here. So and then I did the shad and the same exact lure It's just a really cool blended Color, okay And now I'm doing a shad so we started with black on the top and then we're gonna do some pearl blue Scales over top of it more chrome and green top water spooks. Yes, I can do that. Redfish took yours. <laughs> Bummer. But hey, you get to fish redfish. That's cool. I've heard that's fun. I have not had the chance to do that. Okay. What, what year did you come up with Colorado Custom Lures? What year am I at? Do you know? Three? I'm almost at three years. Yeah. So it would be what? 20... 18? Yeah. But I didn't really um, go full on website till um, one year after that. So, hey, Derek, thank you. Thanks for the order. Acrylic water based Createx. Yes. I prefer lacquer taxidermy paints, but yes, there's definitely a time and a place for both. Okay, so I'm just spraying um, on this mesh over the black with this pearl blue. Um, quick tip here. 
And this pearl blue paint sprays terrible. So um, you have to really give it a lot of air to push the particles through. But be careful not to like spray too much where it pools everywhere and just like leaves a giant splatter everywhere. So that's what those scales look like on top of the black. So it's kind of cool. And then I'll do the other side, same way. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more color. And I have two of these to do so that I can add a little variation and see which way I like better. Usually I'll come up with an idea and I'll try a couple different ways and see what I like best. Thanks guys. Share the feed if you can, please. Would love to see more people here. We are live on YouTube as well right now. So um, subscribe to our channel. I pinned the link to the YouTube channel in the comments and the description on Facebook. And same thing goes for Facebook. If you're on YouTube and you uh, haven't followed us on Facebook, and you want to see product updates, then follow us on Facebook. You'll get notifications that way when we go live. So there's the blue on each side there. And I'm just going to do the other one real quick. And um, if you have any questions, I'll answer your questions. I just dropped that. Okay. Seems like a lot more protection with lacquer. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Gary's asked, or Blind Symmetry, I use a ton of reducer in my Wicked paints with the 0.35 airbrush, a ton, I don't know. Yeah, it just depends how, you know, how many layers you want to put down. So, um, some people like painting with really thin paint. Some people like cranking up the pressure and spraying with thicker paint. And there's no right or wrong. Um, it's just personal preference, really. Some people don't reduce them at all. They just turn it up to 60 and blast it through. Here he's asking, saying, I'm back. Is Facebook the only place to view what you offer for sale? No, I have a website, coloradocustomlures.com. If you look at the bottom of the... Well, it's on Facebook. No, it should be. If you look at the description, it's mm -hmm. not on there. Oh, yeah. crap. I'm sorry. That's my bad. ColoradoCustomLures.com is my website. Uh, my inventory is kind of low right now because I just did a live sale. But it will. there will be a lot more stuff on there soon as I'm able to paint more. I will put more on. So I'm always, there's always new stuff on there. So make sure you, uh, if you follow the Facebook page, you'll get um, some updates. When I post new things on the website, you'll get updates. Um, I should probably use my email um, on my email. I have an email service that I use through my website that I should probably start using more because more people have, le have left Facebook now. Um, so if you subscribe to the newsletter on my website, then when I post new things on my website, I can send out an email to come check out what's new or whatever. Hey, Jerome, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Daniel Wood is saying, is painting lures a big money pit as making worms? Uh, it seems like you always need something. Oh, yeah, it's similar, but the profit margin on pouring plastics is much tighter. Um, but you can make them a lot faster than you can paint lures. So it's kind of, it's kind of one of those things where... Um, your time, you, it takes more time to paint the lures, but it it's more profitable, I guess, per piece than worms. But either way, no one's getting rich in this business, I promise. Um, unless you get picked up to design lures by one of the big manufacturers or you start painting swim baits and charge, you know, $100 a piece, even then you're not getting rich. I mean, you might be able to, like pay your bills, but it's a tough business to, um, very competitive right now. Yeah, it's very competitive and it's just a tough business to make a lot of money in. I mean, you can, this is, you know, my husband works full time and I'm, I stay home with the kids and this is my full time job that I can work from home and it does not pay as well as my, 
my career prior to staying home with kids ever did. All right, but it's fun and I can stay home and I get to see my kids and uh, so it's worth it. All right, I'm looking for my gold that somehow disappeared. It did, maybe I didn't grab it. Okay, hang on guys, I gotta grab my gold real quick like. This isn't really the one I wanted to use. This is an opaque gold, I didn't really want this. I wanted my uh, Createx gold because it's more transparent, but I don't wanna waste time looking for it. So I'll thin this down. This is Tester's Aztec Pearl Gold, and this is my favorite gold. Um, it is very opaque though. So if you want a transparent gold, I recommend just Createx gold. It's more transparent. This is, I'm gonna thin it down so it's a little more transparent, but this is pretty opaque. But it's one of my favorites nonetheless. You don't have to use a ton to get the effect. So I'm gonna go across the side on the midline with some gold. I gotta be careful when I'm using water base because I forget that I can't just pile it on because lacquer dries instantly. Whereas this does not. You gotta be careful. And it's better to put down thinner layers and more layers because you get a better blend of your colors that way. And also um, it looks more natural and you can control the, the color better if you are patient. You don't put too much on at once. So I'm kind of just going along this line on the bottom where I put the, and I got that way too thick right there. So it's all good though. I'm just uh, figuring this out right now. So I kind of put it too thick on the tail there. If you can kind of see where it ran a little bit or pulled, uh, that's what you want to avoid. So this is what it should more look like, is that smooth kind of, that's what it's supposed to look Daniel like. Daniel Wood, all I hear from my lure makers and bait makers is that they have no time to go places or time to fish. <laughs> yeah, um, I make time, honestly, though. Uh, I don't like fishing when it's cold out. I'm, I'm very, um, we went today and I was freezing. And it was like 55 degrees out because it was windy. I was like flannelled up and I wasn't even hardly fishing because I was so cold. But in the summer, I go a lot, and we go a lot as a family. Yeah, for me on Facebook, that can be such a turn of fishing. Always buying new lures to replace yes. the ones you lose. Stephen, did you ever compete in or win any fishing tournaments? Um, I so Chris runs the American Bass Association tournament trail in Colorado. Um, so he fishes tournaments on the regular. He runs them. And um, I am a sponsor for the Colorado ADH Trail. Um, I don't sponsor really anything else, just that. Um, and so he fishes tournaments a lot. I have fish tournaments, but I don't have time. And um, we have two young kids, so it's pretty hard for me to get a babysitter every time there's a tournament. So I really can't right now, um, but down the line, I might be able to. I just don't see it anytime in the near future. Gary from uh, YouTube. I began fish finishing lures the day after Christmas and just finished 100 pieces. I'm a paraplegic. Oh, nice. And winters are always long, but finishing lures has been a blessing. Awesome. I'm glad you were able to find a hobby that you enjoy. That's that's awesome. If there's any, anything that you need help with anytime, just... You can PM me. I'm happy to answer questions or help however I can. Uh, Let's see who else. Dave, it might be competitive, but you get what you pay for. Your baits kick ass. Your finish. Thank shows you, Dave. Up. Are you? Oh, you're reading Facebook too. Oh, both, yeah. oh, I was confused. You got three inches of snow. Uh, we're supposed to get snow this week, though. But you never really know if it's going to happen around here. Like, they'll say it's going to snow, and then it misses us totally, or we get, like, none almost. My kids love it. I'm like, if it's going to be cold, it might as well snow. But it snows in the mountains a lot, but it doesn't snow down here that much. 
This is copper, and I'm not sure if this is going to be as dark as I want it to be, but we're going to give this a shot. I may hit the eyeball with some brown if it's not. So I'm just going to hit the face on this with some copper. And then on the other one, I'm probably going to add a little bit of black texture around the face too. I'm just doing this in a quick spurt, and then I'll dry. And then I'll hit it with another spurt until I get it to be like, where I want it to be as far as like the darkness goes. And a lot of shad have a little bit of gold or like a coppery brownish gold right around the eye. Um, so we're just mimicking that natural look. Chris brought me home a dead gizzard with a thread fin. It was a thread fin the other day. <laughs> My son didn't, uh, luckily my son wasn't around because he would have wanted to play with it. He's funny like that. He'll, he'll play with the dead men now. <laughs> They're so cute, is what he says. Okay, let's put some dark brown uh, underneath here. This stupid cord is not nearly as long as I would like it to be. I need to get another 10-footer. I changed my whole setup kind of, so... Like, it doesn't reach very well. Dwayne on Facebook, I would like to buy the crankbait that is on your page. It's not in the crankbait category. Okay. You're going to have to PM me uh, or email me at coloradolures at gmail.com. I don't know. I There's no way for me to really know what you're talking about. And I won't remember. So if you can message me and I'll, I'll help you when I get done with the show. Or, you know, if you're still up. If not, you can just get back to me tomorrow. It's probably something that's not in stock, I'm assuming is what you mean. If it's not in stock, I can paint it for you. You just need to let me know. And I still I don't charge any more than I than the regular price for custom. So this is a stencil I bought from Amazon. I don't remember. Uh I think I got this at Coast Airbrush, but you can get it on Amazon. This is Art Tool, A-R-T-O-O-L, by Awada. They make this grunge stencil or it's called fx anyway it's a three pack and you get these like random like texture designs so this is a good one that i use fairly often and you can just kind of place it on top of your lure you know like this or whatever and then just spray through it and get like a little bit of a random texture design what the heck wrong brush Sorry about that. So I'm just spraying a little bit of um, texture around the gill plate area, muddying it up a little bit with a little bit of texture. And you can do that in other places too. Like I could put some along the midline or whatever. This paint, though, I tell you what, this sepia is like not my friend today. It does not want to cooperate. So I'm going to do a little texture on this one, and then the other one I'm going to leave it, and we're going to see, kind of just see what we like better or whatever. Share the feed if you can, everybody. I appreciate shares on your page, shares on in your fishing groups, anywhere you can think of that people might be interested in pretty loose. And we all know everything is going to be out of stock this spring, just like last spring. So if you want a secondary place to buy or a primary place to buy, keep us Mine. So I'm still doing the, um, yes, yeah, God, I don't know what they did with their sepia, but it doesn't spray right anymore. The first bottle I had of it was fine, and then after that, it was just, I don't know, after that, it's just always been problematic. I messaged Createx about it, and they said they'd replace it, but I just never got around to sending it back.
Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of brown. Uh, I'll do black shading because I can't deal with well. I don't want to do the brown. It's just not spraying very well. Thank you so much, Richard. Orange belly. <laughs> yeah, I could do orange on one of them. All right. Just making sure I don't miss any comments here. Okay. So I'm just going to um, shade the eye socket on this one a little bit with some brown. And then just kind of like darken the nose a little. So that's what that looks like over there. I kind of like it. I dig it. Okay, and then this one just has a little bit of a texture pattern on it, so just a little bit of a different look. I'm not sure that I like it. It's worth a shot. Doesn't want to cooperate. Oh. So I like shading around my eye eyeballs because it gives it. Um, like a little bit of a, it'll help your, your, um, the epoxy eye, it pops a little bit better when you have like some dark coloration around the um, eye socket. So I'm just cleaning these out and then I'm going to do, a, oh shoot, wrong cup, black spine on these and then a shad marking and then they'll be all done. So again, if I missed anybody's questions, don't be afraid to PM me or you can send me an email at coloradolures at gmail.com and um, I'll get back to you, whatever is easier for you. Pictures are a lot easier to send through Facebook than email, but it's not a big deal either. Way. Yeah, my sepia, I don't know what the deal is with their sepia, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's not just me then. Everybody's having problems with it. I don't use water-based paints that much anymore, but um, sepia is just garbage lately. I don't know. I got a huge bottle of it, too. I feel like it's too late to return it at this point because I got it so long ago. This isn't a water airbrush, Scott. I have a bunch of Badger airbrushes, too. I only have one water, and personally, I'm a Badger person. Like, I like Badger airbrushes. There's no, I don't, I don't, I don't have a strong preference either way, but most of mine are Badger and I love the Badger Patriot and the parts are um, easy to get and they're not very expensive. And if you, um, you can get a hold of the owner of Badger and he'll help you with stuff. That's not something that you can say for a water, but um, they're both really good quality brushes. You can't go wrong with either one. Yeah, that's bummer that you gotta work. No fun. All right, so I'm gonna put, my needle's not pushed in all the way. I can tell you that right now because when I push my air down, I've got paint coming out. So I'm just gonna make sure that's seated properly. And I'm just going to put a freehand dot, like, behind the gill plate. Just a marking, you know, a shad marking. You just got to be careful with your pressure. Your, um, yeah, you just got to be careful with the pressure when you do those. So that's how that one turned out. I noticed that the mesh pulled off a little bit of the black paint underneath. Um, when I did the scale pattern and I did not have that problem with look, the lacquer paint. So hopefully it that won't happen when I go back. These are the blades I did in this color. Um, if you missed the blades, I'll show you a quick peek of what those look like. This is the blue gizzard shad. Uh, this will be the craw, the red or spring craw. I have a purple shad, so a purple shad, 
for you uh, walleye fishermen. And then I'm doing this crankbait, this color too. Um, this color will be available in a blade as well. And then um, a bunch, there'll be more than just that. But those are the ones I'm working on right now. I have a red craw, like a neon red craw that I haven't done a pattern on, but that'll be coming too. So these are really excellent performing. So there's my blue gizzard shed. So let me know if you like the markings better or the one with the textured mark markings better or if you like the one with just the, the smooth gold and copper. And I'll redo whichever one everybody likes. So if you missed the beginning of the show, this was the perch that I made. So that, that one will be making it prime time too. Um, the Sotar 2020 or the Patriot better? So for a beginner, I would recommend the Patriot over the Sotar 2020. The Sotar is a 0.2, uh, very, it's like they're, um, it's more than ultra fine. So it's a 0.2. There's really no need for a 0.2. Some people really love it, but most of those people that I know that really love it are very, very good experienced lure painters. Um, and it's going to clog a lot more than say the 0.5 or the 0.3 because it uh, is such a small opening and it's just more of a pain than it's worth. In my opinion, I have a Chrome, which is, I had a Sotar and I got rid of it because I could never get it to work right. So I have the Chrome now, which is the 0.2 also. It's just the Renegade series, it's heavier. Um, and it's the 0.2 and I've, I rarely use it. I almost always use either my, this is an Extreme Patriot, which is a 0.3, um, or I have, it's disassembled right now, but I have a regular Patriot, which is a 0.5 and I actually really like that too. So I don't see any need to have a, a finer brush myself personally. I can do most detail with um, the bigger. You like and use markings on your stuff. Uh, okay, all right guys. Well, um, if you have any questions I missed that you need answered, please PM me. I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight, but thank you for watching. I appreciate the feedback on the cameras. And uh, again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can find all of our products that are in stock at coloradocustomlures.com. Everyone have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next weekend. Take care. That worked okay.